Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and greetings, I'm Shama here and welcome to more RC video reviews. Very, very happy to have the M2 Explorer from Omf Hobby sitting right here. Let's bring the camera closer, unbox this all new M2 Explorer Mini 3D RC helicopter. I have my M2, the original 2019 M2 also sitting right here. We'll give it a very, very quick comparison right here. Talk about the features and what's new in the Omf Hobby M2 Explorer. We'll set it up with Futawa 14 SG radio, bring it out and we'll have some fun flying 3D with it. Once again, this is a dual brushless motor direct drive Mini 3D RC helicopter which definitely offers superior 3D performance. Main rotor diameter is 400 mm, weight approximately 306 grams only. It's available in different canopy colors, of course, the crystal green, racing yellow and I got my charm orange favorite color. Inside, this nice foamy carry case. I really love the way actually they improve the packing and this is this makes it really very very easy to carry it around. Normally I just hang the M2 helicopter on the backpack when I'm riding the motorcycles which is also safe and easy to carry but this actually makes it much more safer to carry around and or you know store. So here inside the box is your beautiful M2 Explorer neatly and safely packed. You have a user manual you have some spare parts which consist of uh, zip ties, one main uh, rotor shaft, one crossbar, some extra screws and servo arms, extra servo arms, servo horns. And then we have the, come on out, come on out, don't be shy, the M2 Explorer. Let's take a closer look at the M2 Explorer and we will see what are the differences very, very quickly. First off, the size hasn't changed, okay, the size of both of the helicopters is still the same, the size of the canopy is still the same and the length of the helicopter is still the same. When it comes to the motor color, what you're going to notice is that in M2 2019 and 2020 version, the motor color is normally matched with the helicopter color scheme, but in M2 Explorer, you will get the black version motor only. So the main direct drive motor and the tail motor both are black color. Now notice that on M2 Explorer, you will see plastic parts on the main rotor head grips and the swash plate down here you will see these are plastic part actually these are not plastic part these are carbon fiber composite technology a material which reduces the cost of production and obviously brings the cost of the helicopter down so that more people can afford it still they are tough and strong as the uh, manufacturer claim we'll find out how tough and strong they are once the canopies are removed, we can focus on the flight controllers. As you can see here, Omf Hobby M2 uh, before in 2019 does not have the open uh, flight controller. It's an Omf Hobby flight system. Here is also the Omf Hobby flight system, but this time it's an open flight controller. That means you can see right here you have a settings button. Using this settings button, you have servo, pitch, speed, agility and gyro settings so basically you can switch or tweak these settings right here using this flight controller which was not possible to do before in 2019 version how do you do that well don't worry there is this little user manual that opens up a whole long lens and you can basically read everything in it. It's actually very, very easy. All you need to do is press the settings button for three seconds and then click it multiple times to get the LEDs to turn on on relevant settings that you want to do. Now, according to flight, now according to this user manual, you can do your rate setting, your gain settings, pitch rate settings, pitch agility settings, pitch gain settings, aileron rate, aileron agility and aileron gain settings you can also choose servo midpoint which is a very important thing and you can also set the collective pitch settings you can increase or decrease the collective pitch or you can reset the flight controller to a complete default now when it comes to servo previously m2 has all 
metal digital gear servos with metal casing but here in m2 explorer we have polycarbonate casing but metal gear digital servos are still there now one more very visible change is right here on the tail boom as you can see very clearly right here this is like inverted water droplet shape okay and for that they also and for that they also change these parts right here okay the metal the aluminum parts which makes it very easy to insert and remove and adjust this tail boom this new shape tail boom right here also there is a metal aluminum part right here which makes mounting this tail motor uh, easier and also it is a stronger piece of part right here and finally when we come to the landing skids as you can see my old m2 landing skid is broken right here it happened right after a few flights because this is a carbon fiber material which easily breaks upon hard impacts but this time they have a nice and tough nylon material on the landing skids which actually should not break i hope they did improve the blade material as well the main rotor blades because i broke a lot of main rotor blades uh, upon each crash on m2 helicopter i hope that this time they have improved the main rotor blades material if it is the same material well you're gonna break them easily so you got to invest and order more of the main rotor blades so the battery is still the same the flight controller is still takes DSMX and S bus receivers right here right now I'm waiting for that S bus uh, Futaba SFHSS receiver and it will take some time to arrive so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this receiver out put it in here and, and probably I don't even have to change my model settings on my Futaba and I can go fly this right away is there a difference in the frame well honestly I don't see any difference in the main frame plate and the main frame parts they are still the same man this little thing can get really fast I need to spend some time on flight simulators. The way it shoots really quick, man. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.